A painting that once hung in the childhood home of Diana, Princess of Wales, is among a rare collection of old masters bequeathed to the Art Gallery of New South Wales. The work is among more than 70 bought by retired Sydney lawyer Ken Reid over the past 25 years. The collection is worth more than $7 million and Mr Reid has pledged to give it to the public gallery. In some ways, these rare paintings and porcelain pieces are the children that Ken Reid didn't have. For the past 25 years, he's lovingly collected the old masters, all the while intending to bequeath them to the art gallery of New South Wales. I only bought things that weren't really museum quality. The paintings range from a sumptuous fruit banquet by Dutch painter Abraham van Beeren to a delicate jewel, Italian artist Cesso Ferrato's 1640 Virgin at Prayer. Taking pride of place is John Hopner's 18th century ballet dancer. A miniature portrait of Protestant reformer John Calvin once graced the walls of the late Princess Diana's childhood home. It came from Althorpe, and Althorpe was her father's house. These old masters fill a void in the collection. Unlike Melbourne, Sydney missed the boat when it came to buying works like these when they were more available in the 19th century. Now it's playing catch-up. And it carries within it a kind of passion and personality. And it's that quality that I think is transferred to the gallery walls. The dancing lady will remain permanently in the gallery. The rest will be on show until January and will then return to Ken Reid's home until his death. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News.